don't continue it if you die so quickly. I was very disappointed that Chicago wasn't represented in the museum exhibit, the Smithsonian, since we've been around for so long. People think, half the time sometimes, I have to argue with my young people, my high school students, because they don't realize that salsa is an American-born rhythm. It's a rhythm that brought Latinos here searching for a unity. And in that unity, it was music that was the universal language. And they feel that it's just, you know, the swing and this reggaeton, they forget about all that cultural stuff that the salsa is rooted with. And the bombas and the bledas and the aguinaldos. So that's what I always try to bring back to our kids. And in doing that, I always tell them, you can dance your mana and your hip hop and everything else, but there's Latin rhythms there. And the more that they find out about the real steps, those steps that come from the bombas and the bledas and the, you know, the pumas and the cha-chas, then they realize that they can do all that. This cha-cha slide, the juke slide, I want to kill them when they're going to do cha-cha this way. I go, no, cha cha, one, two, cha cha cha, one, two, cha cha cha. And the thing is, is that they learn quickly, and then they're happy, and they go with it. So the more education they have, the better they're going to blossom themselves with. Um, we were very, very blessed, last and impressions, to work with the orchestras live because now the kids don't even know what a live band is. Kids don't understand what a live band is. Between those earplugs and their head, they don't understand, so we need to understand and keep this stuff alive and just keep on doing what we're doing now. So I'm so happy you guys are all here that you can pass the word. And I'm not sure where your lives are going or what's going on, but we need to continue to educate.